Cat matte lipsticks. This is the red one. Um, Crimson Cat Chat. Sorry, there's a kitten on me. I'm trying to get my lipsticks. There's Chercot Griffiths. Magenta. Minx. Sphinx is the nude. And I got the black one, Perry, Perry, Perry Leather. So those are my new lipsticks that I got that I wanted to show you. And I'm going to get more of them soon. My friend wants one of them. I don't even know if she, I thought she couldn't wear regular makeup, I don't know. But, yeah. So, I have a can on me, so. Yeah. I need to stop ripping my shirt. And then there's that one. You need to go. They're bad. Ow! <laughs> One's behind me. Ow, they're all attacking me. I'm gonna miss this guy so much. Aww. He's so cute. I'm gonna miss him so much. I'm gonna miss all of them, actually. Except that one. You a black little one. They're really bad. So, that's what I'm going to show you guys. I want to talk to you guys about, um, So what's been going on with me? My sister has been battling me for two days. I've been so upset I accidentally hurt myself right there and that really hurt. I did that yesterday and I just, I want to do the things with my sister, my sister and she's been mean to me so. I also got a Betsy John purse also. I got that at Gabe's too and it was $34. It was originally $68 but I got there for $34 so that was good. Um, so I had a bad week. Um, I've been really upset lately and everything. So, yeah. And money was stolen on my wallet. So, my boyfriend got a fine that he was innocent for. And the girl sent news to him. And she bullied my sister and she bullied me. So, I really think she should be at fault and not my boyfriend. And it's really, I've been really upset about that. I've been working my butt off at work. Um, and also, I've been really tired. These kittens keep you up all night. And with my love. They're really bad. They're going to be leaving soon. I'm going to miss them a little bit. Not much to my cords, though, but. They're so soft though. So I want to talk to you guys about something. Um, what I'm really sick of is my Facebook got hacked by my ex, Jason. And then I hear that she told my ex that this girl I was friends with named Amy told my ex to hack my Facebook. And that's definitely bullshit. That's definitely bullshit. And, you know, if you're so obsessed with my life, you really need to get your own life. I'm happy. I've been dating my boyfriend for almost four years now, which our anniversary will be two weeks from now. And I'm really sick with this person, like, being obsessed with my life so much. Like... I have a job, I buy myself nice things, like, nice clothes, like, it's, like, it's bullshit, like, I just got a new friend at work, I don't give any details, but I'm still friends with my best friend Kelly, and we're, we're tight now, and I'm sick of people 
like trying to ruin my life and trying to ruin my boyfriend's life just because they don't like my boyfriend they don't like me like you guys can suck it up and deal with it so thank you for all the views and comments i've gotten recently that's helping me out and um yeah and i've been dealing with a lot and i also want to say to you guys about i forget it was about something i wanted to talk to you guys about um don't let people get to you if they bully you oh yeah i was gonna talk about bullying today don't let bullying get to you it does take a lot of cinema out of you and a lot of energy out you out of you and it they want to ruin your life and they want to hurt you just be yourself be happy no matter what other people think about you just be confident that you're alive that you don't have cancer and that you don't have other problems like other people have and that you're just normal and that you're moving on every day of life and some people have it in the worst way some have it in the best ways some people take it good some people take it bad but we all have our differences and i think if i've been bullied since i was nine years old and how to deal with them i would how i would deal with bully bullies is i would tell them like it is like i would fight back like i i wouldn't i wouldn't let someone punch me around like a punching bag and they think they could hurt my feelings well you know i have a bag of bones too and that's not the best way to put it but you know what you're gonna do um bullying is really hard and for people who bully you and not know you anything about you that's definitely harder and no one really wants to listen to someone who's been bullied through out of most of their lives and i think you just enjoy life just do you just do you that's all i gotta say just do you um people might not think you're beautiful they might pick on you because you have black heads or you have pimples or you don't wear makeup half the time when you make these videos people are just jealous of you they're just jealous of who you are and what you are i mean this is my art i mean this is what i can do and people are jealous because I can do that. Like, they're jealous because I can make really cool art things. And and that's my other art. And people are jealous because I do things that I love. And I do things that make me me. And, like, in my singing video about Orlando, that was my real voice. Like, I sang it to the top 100. Like, that was the best I was giving it that day. And... I write songs for people and people are just jealous because I'm caring and I love other people. I just don't love myself and that I try to expand my horizons and to care about other people and not about my selfish self. And people take, people can take you for advantage. Like if you're really loyal to them and if you're nice to them, people can really take you for advantage. I've been taken for advantage. I mean, I was friends with these friends for fifth grade and some pen middle school life and they want to betray you they want to be bully you they want to be mean to you then they don't really know how you are and they don't know what you feel and i want to say if you ever get bullied to the point you want to explode you want to kill yourself please don't um or if you want to go hurt them and if you get in trouble for it i want to recommend that just talk to someone how you feel. Just talk to someone about, like, how you feel. Like, I know bullying is hard. Trust me. It's really hard. And a lot of people don't believe you that you're getting bullied. And a lot of people don't even want to hear your stories. Like, my school, um, I got blamed for harassing other kids on Facebook. And it wasn't even me. And I broke down crying because they thought it was me. So, I really hope my school got in trouble for blaming someone who didn't really do anything like i was innocent like i was there my meshes got hacked like first period like as soon as i got there they got hacked and two periods later i got called down to the office and i got yelled at for texting a bunch of girls at my school trying to beat them up threatening to hurt them all this shit and threatening to tell the school shit and it wasn't even me like it wasn't even me like, this is why I don't have friends, because other people hack my Facebook, pretend to be me, and then, you know, like, text other people on my Facebook that are popular or whatever, and say, like, 
I'm going to beat them up and shit like that. That's why I don't really have friends or never had friends in school because people ruined my life. People has ruined my life and has hurt me intentionally, physically, and emotionally. So, if you go to Penn Trafford or if you're going to go to Penn Trafford, learn this. Your friends aren't really your friends, okay, half the time. And learn a lot about yourself and love yourself. And don't give a shit what other people say about you. Like, just think they're an ugly potato and you look like a diamond. Or think, like, they're a bag of my grandma's shit, okay? Because if you're going to high school, you need to learn to love yourself. Be confident always. Don't take shit from no one, okay? Be a confident badass. And if someone wants to start fighting with you, do whatever you want. Because people start fights with me and guess what? I wrap them out. So, yeah. And if boys make fun of you, t they ain't nothing, honey. They ain't nothing, trust me. They think they can get every girl in the book. They think they can flirt all they want. They think they can fuck all they want. Well, let me tell you. If a boy's a fuckboy or a player, they're not really going to have a girlfriend. Like, till they're 64 or 40. Like, they're not going to get a girlfriend that's going to put a ring on someone else's finger. Because that's what players do. Players like to flirt with girls and be mean to girls and all that shit, but they got none. They don't got none in that little sack of theirs and in their little brain and their little mind. So, if you ain't true 100% to a girl, then you ain't even a man. You're a boy. You're a fuck boy. You're a little titty little boy. That's what you are. And I've been bullied by a couple boys myself. And they make fun of me. They make fun of me on my bus and all this shit. They call me black jesus and all this shit well they don't really bother me anymore like i don't really give a fuck what they think like i don't give no fucks no fucks i don't give no fucks because you know they want to be mean to me and i'm older than them and i found out this guy was a freshman so he lied to me he said he was a sophomore and he's a freshman i looked up his name in the yearbook and it said his name was c-h-a-r-l-e-s yeah, so I found your name on Facebook. Not Facebook. I found your name in the yearbook. So, yeah, your real name's not CJ, is it now? Nope, it's not. And I'm not bullying. I'm not bullying when I say this on YouTube. Like, I'm not bullying at all. I'm just saying, like, they lied about their names and all this shit. So, they wouldn't get in trouble. And I found out their real names and everything. So, people like that who are sneaky about their names and shit and want to bully you. Their karma's gonna hit back ten times harder. Trust me, it will. So, that's my advice about bullying. Kinda. I kinda forgot all what to say. But, don't let it get to you. Be confident. And be yourself. Always be yourself. And with your friends, if they start betraying you your 11th grade, 12th grade year, just be happy that... I'm glad in my life I have a boyfriend who understands me and loves me for who I am. And I have one best friend that cares about me, and I care about her. Like, we're really tight. We're tight. We're tight bitches. And she's my friend, I'm her friend, and yeah, we don't give no fucks about anyone else. So, and my boyfriend, I love him too. And my, his friend is Robert, who's my friend also. He's cool. Like, he's really cool. So, that's what I'm happy for in life, that I have those people in my life. And I also want to talk to you guys about something else too. Um, if you guys would like to add me on Skype, so I could Skype some of you fans and get to know you a little bit more, that would be awesome. It's like a, you know, CH versus fan collab that I want to make a video of, but the pers but the thing is I don't need people's Skypes, like fans from the UK or like China or anything like that. So if you really want to Skype me, please comment below if you think about it or want to. I know some people are shy on here and that's okay. So bye guys, I love you, and your CH is out.